I got it. I got the 2020 Toyota Tacoma behind me. I have the powered seat. This is the big news of the refreshed Toyota Tacoma was a powered seat. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you how tall it goes. I'll put the camera up so we can see as far as head height in the cabin. And we'll go ahead and talk more about this powered seat in the Toyota Tacoma coming up right now. Hey, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is pickups and SUVs. And I have to call me behind me, like I said. The big news from this was the powered seat. I didn't get a chance to check it out in Chicago. I'm here in the Denver Auto Show, and I got it unlocked, and I have power to it, which is kind of amazing. Two things happened that I really wanted to happen, so two miracles this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and hop it in, and I'll turn the camera a little bit. We'll talk more about this powered seat. We'll talk more about why it's such a big deal um, in Toyota Tacoma. So let's get started. So before I hop in, let's first discuss getting in and out of this truck. I've had some comments on the channel, I want to get a little more detail on that, is that I have some problems getting in and out of the truck. I was in uh, Detroit with the chief engineer, there's a video I'll put above, and talked to him about getting in and out, and it just really concerns me that um, how you get in and out, and it's basically based on the rake of the windshield here, it's the way the look is, that creates some problems. So for example, when I hop in, I mean that's straight across hopping in. I'm 5'6", 200 some pounds, right? So uh, that, that's a problem. And so what I do a lot is I go like this, and then I stake my head back in, and now I can finally get into this truck. So one of my concerns with doing this truck is that when they increase the height of the seat, I wonder if it's make it more difficult. So let's go ahead and check the seat out. Okay, here is the powered seat, and you can see here's the interior, right? Standard Tacoma interior, nothing changed too much except for this powered seat. And so we'll go ahead and raise this up. We can see the front bolster raises first. And then I'm, well, I raised the back, I'm sorry. I could have pressed both at once, I guess. And so we're going to see it's going to raise up. Now, the chief engineer tells me it's 1.8 inches is what it's raised. So there is the raised height. And I'll see if I can't get a little bit, a little hard to show this. But where it was, maybe I'll take my hand. There's, this is my hand that fits underneath of it. And when I lower it down, and I press both buttons now, go all the way down. This is my hand now underneath of it. So you can see there's some clear difference, a couple fingers. So again, probably inch or 1.8 inches is the official height. Okay, so now I'm going to get in. Again, I have the kind of get in situation. And uh, let's check my head. I'm going to keep my head st stable. Or st Stable, <laughs> keep my head stable, and I'm gonna go up. And now, ow, 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 okay. I gotta move my head to the moonroof. I cannot fit my head. So I gotta be up here, like, luckily the moonroof's open. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll go back down. So let me take the camera and I'll show you what that looks like inside the cab. All right, I'm inside the cab. I got the moonroof open, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up. So I'm going up. See my head? Hit my head there, so this is all the way up. So let me go ahead and switch it around, and I'll show you the, the view out the windshield when you go all the way up. Okay, so this is my view out the windshield. I'm just gonna kinda put the, uh, I don't know, camera maybe on top here, hand. This is a little difficult to show, but this is my typical view. So as I go up, I get a much close top view. And so what's kind of neat is if I'm all the way up like I am right now, and I look down, I, have, I can't even see the steering wheel. Like I'm going to look right over the steering wheel and look right down the front end. So it's a little bit better visibility in that case, although I've got to have the, wind, the moonroof open to be able to use this situation. Let's go ahead and uh, get in and out, and I'll show you how it looks with the seat all the way up. Okay, remember how I had a problem trying to get in and out because of the way the, the rake is? So I'm going to go ahead and raise the seat all the way up, and I'm going to go ahead and get in, and I want to see if it's going to be more difficult for me to get in and out with the seat all the way up. So, seat's all the way up. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, <laughs> I could get in. Um, so let's go, let's go middle way. So if I go down, and I'm kind of in the middle here, Okay, so I, I get in and out, so I got to kind of 
I don't know, halfway race. So I'm probably an inch maybe in that round. So if I go in like this now, boy, is it. Yeah, it's more difficult. So even though it's got a powered seat in 2020, I don't know that it addresses the key problem in the Tacoma. The key problem to me is the rake of the windshield. It's this front eight pillar. The shape of that creates a difficulty getting in and out of the truck. And I think even though you're gonna increase the height of the seat, which is nice, it means every time you get in and out of your truck, you gotta lower your seat and you gotta raise your seat. That's a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna say to this solution, I don't think it works quite right. I think they need to go ahead and redesign this truck to fix the overall problem. It's just kind of a band-aid at this point. So if you like this kind of content and like more stuff about it, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell notification to be notified of new videos I put out. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It's on Pickup Truck Talk. Type it in. Trust me, we're there. I've done it. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.